Today I'm going to tell you about the Refactory KH Keeper Plus. This is the new alkalinity monitor from Refactory and that sits alongside the standard KH Keeper in their product range. Now because it's only the hardware that's changed with the Plus, that's all this video will focus on. But I have made three other videos showing how the KH Keeper works, along with details of the software and all the pros and cons, so I'll link them in the description if you want to know more. Now this was given to me for free by Refactory, so thanks very much to them, and it's worth saying they give me freedom to say what I want, which I personally really appreciate. So what's new on the KH Keeper Plus? The first big change is the price tag. The Plus costs £770, which is £200 more than the standard KH Keeper. That's a considerable 35% price hike, and it means the KH Keeper Plus is no longer the budget option on the market, and will cost you as near as makes no difference, the same as the GHL KH Director. But what does all that extra cheddar get you? Well, quite a lot to be fair. In terms of upgraded components, you now get a superior pH probe. Firstly, it ships wet in the box rather than dry like the previous probe, and more to the point, it's a lab-grade double junction probe that's made in Germany. If you Google the difference between single and double junction, it comes up with a load of scientific stuff that is too complicated for my tiny fish brain to understand. But the headline is that a double junction probe will last longer than a single junction probe, which is a good thing. It also comes with two stepper motors instead of one, which means the water sample dosing pump is now more accurate than before, so you should get a more consistent water sample size for your tests. Although more to the point, the stepper motors have been upgraded over the last model and are now really quiet. They're not silent, but you have to concentrate to hear them outside of your tank cabinet, and I now have no problem letting it test every hour in the evening while I'm watching Love Island. I bloody love that show. Here's a quick clip to show you how much quieter the Plus is over the standard model. Being a plus size model, the unit itself is now 3 centimeters wider. Now that does make it slightly less compact, but it is still pretty small. And it has screw mounts on the back, so you can mount it flush to your cabinet if you wish, although I've mounted it to face me to make access easier. Now we all dream of an extra inch, and Refactory has put it to good use. The Plus is now much less fiddly to access, and that is a big deal. It makes calibration 10 times easier, which means you are 10 times more likely to do it, which in turn means you'll get more consistent results. Previously you had to hold the pH calibration fluids or the dosing measurement cups while calibration took place. And given the pH probe has to rest in the solution for 5 minutes, I used to be like Hey, are you through yet? Because I'm getting tired of holding this. Sure, that's what she said. <laughs> But now you just rest the calibration solutions and the dosing cups in the unit itself and sit back while it does its thing. There's also a cutout space beneath the beaker. Previously, if you didn't line the beaker up correctly, the magnetic stirrer wouldn't work properly. Now that's a problem I never personally encountered with a standard cage keeper, but Refactory have fixed it anyway, so it will now always be lined up perfectly. So the big wins there then are the extra space which makes calibration much easier, the much quieter reagent pump, and the better quality pH probe. And those were my three main criticisms of the standard KH Keeper, so it's great to see they've been addressed. And there are a couple of nice touches in the box. The Plus comes with a 150ml bottle of reagent, which will last you over two months even if you test three times a day. And it comes with a set of precision scales to help you calibrate the dosing pumps. I've been using that method myself for a couple of years now, and I find it more accurate than trying to read the meniscus on a volumetric cylinder. You can calibrate the scales to make sure they are 100% accurate, although you'll need to buy a calibration weight separately for a few extra quid. And in any event, the free scales from Refactory in my box were 99.97% .97 accurate, straight out of the box. The last change over the standard KH Keeper is that the Plus now comes with liquid pH calibration fluids instead of powdered calibration sachets. So the Refactory KH Keeper Plus is now much quieter, easier to calibrate, should need calibrating less frequently, and has a few features designed to make it more accurate. Now it's at this point of my video reviews that I like to list a product's shortcomings. After all, if you only wanted to know the good stuff, you'd just watch the manufacturer's video. But there isn't much to dislike about the Plus. At around 20 minutes, it takes about 5 minutes longer than the standard KH Keeper to complete a test, and it doesn't have the most solid feel to it. 
but to be honest, a few extra minutes makes no real difference with an auto tester, and a more solid feeling case wouldn't improve the Plus, and it actually looks pretty cool in its current form, so I wouldn't want to lose that. So I'm afraid I don't really have anything negative to tell you. It is more expensive, but you can see where they've spent the extra cash, and the improvements are so welcome to me that I think the Plus actually represents even better value for money than the standard model. And it's still just about the cheapest of the main options on the market. I've only had it for two weeks, so it's entirely possible I'll find things I don't like when I've had it a bit longer. And I'm interested to see just how much better the PH Probe is than before. Although a replacement PH Probe will cost £99, which for me is reassuringly expensive. And given how important a PH Probe is to an alkalinity tester, I also feel like Refactory let their designers, and not their accountants, choose the probe. The standard KH Keeper is still a good piece of kit. It has its drawbacks, but I'd still recommend buying it, especially if you're on a budget or need the most compact device you can find. But if you can stretch to the extra £200, the KH Keeper Plus is a serious upgrade. It still has the same class-leading software, but now it seems to have the hardware to match. I will of course do a long-term review when I've had the Plus a lot longer, in which I'll tell you how I get on with this upgraded pH probe. So make sure you're subscribed for that, and if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you next week.